Well, y'all, I was not planning on making a video tonight. Uh, we just got back from a uh, family dinner, Sunday dinner that we do. When we got back, um, I went to go check on the chickens because I had uh, left the coop door open. I'd let them out this afternoon. Um, Emmy wanted to play with them. She loves holding uh, our little chicken Penny that uh, she's really tame. She lets you pick her up. Anyway, uh, when I came back, I saw a raccoon running off in the dark and I just said, oh no, this can't be good. And even on the way home, I was making a joke. I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be bad if, uh, if Penny got eaten by a raccoon? Because it's gonna be hard to explain to you know who over here. Uh, cause you know, Emmy is literally grown up with the chickens. Uh, we've had them for three years. Emmy's three years old. Uh, some of them anyway, some of our older red chickens. So anyway, I got back and saw the raccoon run off and I knew immediately it was not good. I went into the coop and I saw four dead, uh, chickens, including Peggy, our lead hen. When I went to go check the, uh, inside of the coop. That was inside of the run. When I went and checked inside the coop, there was no chickens in there, and there was a possum sitting in there. So, here you guys go. I'm going to check this out. Well, y'all, this is a sad day. But, uh... <sighs> came home right after dark. Had the chicken... <sighs> and close your door open. And I just saw a raccoon scurry off. I don't see any chickens in here. And there's a possum in here as well. There he is right there. I don't know what it is about these things. I like to kill chickens. You can be sure he's about to get it. If I ever track down this other raccoon, He's gonna get it too. Dang it. I'm so sorry, girls. I'm so sorry. The one night I leave that cracked. I still got some other chickens that might be alive somewhere. See some feathers. So that was it. Right after it happened, I have scoured the woods uh, since then. Uh, with my headlamp looking for any signs of chickens. I found one feather. Uh, I thought if there was any chicken that would make it, it would probably be uh, Carrot, the one that my dad surprised us with, gave us. Um, tough bird, would never even let me pick her up, so I figured you know, she would probably get away. Uh, she got out of the chicken run, but uh, you know, Penny, our favorite chicken, uh, Carrot, um, Oh, another one of the Easter Eggers, there was another Bard Rock, it, basically like half of the flock got away, <laughs> but I don't know where they are, and they're probably not going to survive the night, and a fox showed up uh, as I was going out there and doing all this stuff, I went to go grab another flashlight, and I came back, and there was a fox just standing there, like waiting for me to leave so I'm just like oh my gosh everything has come out of the woodwork raccoons foxes possums probably a bobcat probably the coyotes are going to be howling uh here in, in a little while so it is it was just absolute tyranny out there and y'all I it was my fault yeah I built this awesome run that was impenetrable pretty much uh Stephanie thought she's, she saw the possum, possum get in there one time uh, from, from the top, like around the tree or something. But uh, the door was open and we basically let the wolves in. So, uh, major mistake here in the backyard, chicken keeping. I was not expecting all of them to be gone or deceased, but that's what we're dealing with. So, it is mutiny now. Uh, I will have my revenge so uh first thing first thing that i did i went uh i went with the blow dart gun and took care of the possum so the possum has been eliminated 
Uh, now it is time to set up some, uh, this is going to be my only night to do this. Um, it's time to set up some traps, some snares. We'll get over it. We'll get a new flock in the spring. Uh, but between now and then, uh, I am going to have, have some vengeance on the animals in the woods. Uh, the thermals will come out to play, uh, the snares, the traps, all that stuff. So here's what I got going on inside of the coop tonight. Okay, this is this is the trap setup we got right here. So I'm just leaving the door cracked. I've got a snare right there. So they got to come through there. The possum could come through there, but I think the possum's done. I uh, definitely put some darts in that thing. The other little house of horrors that we have right here, it's just, this sucks. But instead of throwing these out in the woods, I'm gonna use them as a decoy, one last chance at revenge here for the chickens. And I've got a, I got a foot trap right here. So it's buried under those leaves. They'll probably step around this post and get snapped if they don't get snared in there. So I gotta squeeze my way out of here and then we'll be awaiting what happens tonight. So now as we sit here, it is a waiting game. Uh, I went out there one last time and just kind of readjusted my snare. I wasn't really happy with it after I squeezed out of the, the door and um, I'm happy with it now. Um, it's, it's floating off the ground. It, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna, if nothing's in there, I'm gonna take all the chickens out to the woods tomorrow before Emmy, uh, goes outside. Don't know how we're going to explain that to her. I guess I'm just going to tell her the, you know, the foxes and everything. Uh, they came and they like to eat the chickens. So anyway, we'll get a, we'll get a new batch, like I said, in the spring, but now it's just time to wait y'all. So tick tock, tick tock. We will see if anything is in the snares or the foot traps in the morning. Just walked outside, it's morning time now, and look who it is. No other than Mr. Short Bob himself. Just laying in there, he got caught in the foot trap. So, it wasn't a raccoon, we literally had all of the creatures last night. I know you guys didn't get to see them, but um, we had all of them. They were all here, These. <laughs> this is probably the same bobcat that has been lurking around this chicken run um, for years. Finally got his opportunity, but it didn't work out so well. These feathers were not here this morning. Is this another one of our chickens trying to get back? It might have well been. I'm not very good at trapping guys. This was my snare that I had set up. Um, it obviously didn't work. Culprit number one sitting right there. Look at the face on that guy. Mm. So we no longer have chickens obviously. So the cat is not a threat to us, but we do have neighbors. Yeah. I know, and you've eaten the neighbor's chickens too. Um, and one of my neighbors recently told me that um, he was, he, he actually ran outside while the bobcat was attacking his chickens and actually got one of his chickens back. So, brave rescue. Um, <sighs> All right, kitty. Yeah, you're looking for a way to kill me. Paw trap worked beautifully, and I could let this bobcat go right now. You uh, had a good last run here. Probably had a Thanksgiving feast on all of my chickens that I spent years raising. And uh, anyway, you had a good last supper. All right, 
I'm gonna do something crazy. <clears throat> Changing heart right now. Uh, I don't like the bobcat around. I really don't. Um, but it's not what I expected to catch. It's not. Uh, it's not really the culprit. For some reason, the raccoons. They just like to kill chickens and possums. I, I don't know why. Um, they didn't eat these. Bobcat will actually come eat them, but uh, you know if they're unattended or whatever, Bobcat's gonna get its one chicken and it's gonna go out of its business. So hopefully you've learned a lesson, Kitty, that uh, if this would've been last night, I definitely would've popped you right in your little whisker grill. But I don't know, I'm in the Christmas spirit right now and I don't have any more chickens and I'm hoping that you've learned a lesson. I'm also hoping that you show me a little bit of gratitude and you don't claw my face off, okay? I've never held a live bobcat before, so this is gonna be the first attempt. Okay, look, if you just stay like that, that would be great. I can free you. Hey, yeah, you're... Whoa. Can I come behind you? Big. Real big and nasty. Gonna need the assistance of a big stick. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, that power is pretty Free. We're free right now. Okay, I have a wild cat. Free. Okay. I have a wild cat. Okay, I know you're tired. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this and remember the guy that lets you go. If you would have had black stripes on your tail, 
it would have been over for you. Okay. Now free of the trap. So you can go. Okay. We need you to go. Because Emmy is waking up right now. I've got to clean up this chicken mess. i got to explain to my family how I've wrestled with a little tiger before breakfast. Big moment right here. Picking up the stick over the rifle. Can't believe I'm doing this. You better not come back to haunt me. You understand? Hopefully this isn't come back to bite me, literally. All right, you're free. You can go. I'm not trying to attack you. Get out of here. Look like you're about to take a nap. Don't want it to jump up on my face. The power, like, that thing was pushing the stick out from under me. It's incredible the power that they have. So I'm not even going to mess around with it. But taking the chickens, moving them. Okay, you can come too. You can have them now, all right? So sad. This is Puff right here. Puff was a good chicken. She laid blue eggs. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Now it's, now it's awake. Keep cleaning up these birds. Let you figure that out. Okay, Bobcat is up on top of it. Got the high ground. I want you jumping on my face. Close the area back here. You get out of here. I don't like you growling at me either. Get out of here. Get out of here, kitty. Get out. Just get out now, please. Get out. It's not the way. It's not the way. Get out the same way you came in. Oh my goodness. I have, I have got a jungle cat. Tree climber. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, yep, there you go. There you go. Wow. Hopefully I did a good thing there. To be honest with you, I was going to do the same thing with the fox. Because I like the fox. And I feel like the fox is the same thing. It's going to take one chicken. You know, if I leave them out, it's, it's my fault. And it's just trying to get a meal. The raccoons, on the other hand, and the possums, there will be war. There will be war out here. So... Um, I've seen them digging in our, we actually have a big hole in our trash cans right now. Um, I've come out here a few times at night and see them just kind of walking circles around the coop. We're going to get some revenge on those raccoons. Don't you worry about that. But Bobcat's a cool animal, man. And maybe one day when I'm deer hunting and I'm like pinned down by a mountain cougar, Spirit of the Wild is going to enter the cougar's eyes and it's going to just gonna back off and say, you know what? You let one of mine go. Now I'm gonna let you go. I don't know, that's a great story. It's a cool thing about the, the paw traps. You do have the option to let the animal go. Um, the bobcat's fine. It's, it's a lot of pressure on there, but it doesn't break their bones, uh, especially if it's a bigger animal. That size was actually meant for um, foxes and coyotes and bobcats. So, um, you know, he ran off just fine. You know, live to live to fight another day live to eat another day uh, now the what I got to do here is clean up the rest of these chickens before Amy comes out inside to play today she's out of school so she's been she's been playing outside every day we've got a little uh, little tent we set up over there that we've been having playtime in and she likes to come out here and hold her favorite chicken Penny but Penny 
not here. OSG bit me to it. It's going to come out there. I'm sorry. Well, I asked her what she wanted for breakfast, and she goes, I want a chicken. No, she <laughs> did not. She did. Like, she just immediately said she wanted a chicken. So I had to tell her. I mean, it was really sad. She was very sad. The first thing she goes is, Penny, I loved her. My best chicken. I told her that we left the gate open last night. Mommy and Daddy forgot. The raccoon came. Raccoons don't like chickens. And raccoons were very mean and hurt our chickens. Guess what was in there? Another chicken? No, this morning. Like feeding the bodies? Yeah, trying to. A raccoon? No. A fox? No. A bobcat? Yeah. I had a <sighs> bobcat in, in the paw trap. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like in your in the paw in trap? In the paw trap. Very much alive. Did you get him? I let him go. Oh. I understand that because it wasn't the bobcat that massacred the chickens. I was going to ask the queen before I, f I pulled down the guillotine. I was <sighs> like, should I ask the queen? But, you know, I was going to do the same thing if it was a fox. Yeah. Was and like, we talked about that. Yeah. And I feel like I understand that. If it was a raccoon, absolutely kill it. Give me, you didn't want to mount a bobcat in your house? <laughs> I thought about it. I'm not going to lie. I thought about it for a second. I was like, you know, a bobcat pelt. A bobcat pelt from the backyard would look nice on there. But then I was like, you know what? Mm. I feel like uh, it's probably good karma. Yeah. To let him go. Yeah. We'll have to get more. Yeah. We'll have to get more. And now she can enjoy baby chicks. That's true. You know, I feel like she can appreciate them and have fun with them. So this is where we end this one, y'all. Uh, we're gonna basically close down the Rackley Roost for a while. It's gonna suck not having them here and not having fresh eggs every day. And it is some work to, to raise chicks up and get the get the flock all healthy and you know everybody's good and we, we had that for a long time. There's always challenges with chickens, uh, especially predators. But we will look forward to getting a fresh flock and you know basically having Emmy help out in that whole process and learning those things when we first got them they were too young for her to to interact with uh, we were literally raising her like she was a little chick so it will be cool in that aspect and we already have a great run we got to make sure that, that door is closed and I have an automatic door on this coop but I had the setting um, to close at like 8 o'clock I hadn't changed it since the summer and you know that was obviously too late Probably not this week, but at some point I will be doing a nighttime raccoon operation out here in the backyard. So stay tuned for that. I am going to have my revenge. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in to the good and the bad. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button for getting into a cage with a wild cat. I can, I can say I did that. Small one, but still. And God bless you. God speed in the great outdoors. Get out there and go enjoy it this winter season. I'll see you guys next time. Did you forget to mention something? I did. There's also another creature inside the house. I about just threw up in my mouth. I was eating breakfast. I, yeah, it was, it was like 4 in the morning. I, I lifted up the toilet and I was like, who left a turd in here? <laughs> I thought it was a turd too. Turns out it's a mouse.